What's going on? Dave Swift here from clientamp.com. You are watching another edition of That LTD Life, the series where I review the best and sometimes the not so great lifetime deals that I can find on the internet. Now, you can always count on an unbiased, impartial review from me. I'm gonna try out a tool today, tell you exactly what I think. Today, we're looking at Miriana over at AppSumo. This is a B2B lead tool. It's essentially a database of 140 million different profiles, but it's got an AI component, so you can search through it and filter it based on AI. So it's gonna hopefully do a little better job than the old fashioned searching. Now, I also happen to check out that Miriana is an eel. Who knew? Well, I Googled it. There you go. Miriana is an eel, but over on AppSumo, it's a B2B lead generation tool. So we can get into this for just 59 bucks. That is a one-time payment. Get to use it for as long as Miriana exists. And that's gonna basically include everything that we need to get going up to 2000 email credits per month. If you need more than that, you can buy a bigger plan. You can see here there's tier two as well as tier three. Now, as we go up in tiers, our emails are going up per month, but we also get API access at tier three. So if you're a developer or you want to just build in an integration to Miriana with your CRM or your cold emailing tool, you'd wanna go for at least tier three. By the way, there are upgrades available. You can go to tier four as well as tier five right there. So check out those specs, rewind the video, pause if you wanna know more. But for this video, I'm gonna stick to tier one. I'll hit buy now and let's go through the checkout process. All right, I am activating my code right now and it's taking me over to a page asking me to sign in with Google. So I didn't notice that I had to use Google in order to log in. I don't love when companies do that. Of course, I've got a Google login, but I prefer not to use it because now I'm just feeding Google more information about myself. And in fact, at least on the browser I'm using, which is Safari, this is not working at all. I can't even click the continue with Google button. So right away over to Arc I go, and sure enough, there is a button right here that I can click. And now I'm gonna log into my Google account. All right, here we go. I am logged into Miriana. Let's go ahead and find my leads. All right, so they're giving me a little example up here of what I might want to search for. So I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, I'm not gonna try any of their exact examples, but maybe I will say, I design landing pages for online course creators. Find me some in the health and fitness niche, and then I'll choose get my leads. All right, now I'm taken to a more traditional kind of search results page. You can see there's only seven results, and I noticed right away that a bunch of them are kind of duplicates or they're from the same company. They're from this Barbary Inc. I've never heard of that before. It looks like Barbary is the global leader in technology-enabled legal education. So they're a little bit outside of my niche for sure. But enough about that. What's actually going on on this search results page? Well, it's a lot more traditional than the overall AI search experience. You can see over here, I've got some filters. It's kind of pre-filled those in for me. Online course creator and course manager. So it's searching for that job title over here. And then under industries, it's selected e-learning for me. Now, if I wanted to contact these people, I've got a few ways I could do that. I could click right here to get the contact and it's gonna use up one of my 2000 credits. I could also reveal the entire page and then export them to a CSV file or do a direct integration with Pipedrive, HubSpot, or Lemlist, former AppSumo deal, by the way. Now the left-hand sidebar actually has a bunch more filters, so I can scroll through and you can see them all here. I can look for buyer intent, technographics, so that's gonna be what technologies they're using. We can do like WordPress or WordPress plugins, maybe Google Apps for Business. I can choose which country I want to reach out to. By default, it filled it in at United States, but I might want to remove that and then open up the rest of the world. And there are subregions as well. We can even sort by whether or not they've raised funding. So let's say you're trying to reach out to startups and you want to find ones that have funding because they might have marketing dollars available. Well, you could do that right here. I think that's a nice touch. And then down here, we can also search by personal LinkedIn URL or their company name. So let's go ahead and try out a few of these features before we just do a brand new search. So now I'm over on LinkedIn and I just went ahead and searched for course creator in the regular old search box here. And I wanna point out that I don't have LinkedIn Navigator or any of the expensive paid monthly add-ons. I just get a few results here. I can see a bit more by viewing all people. I'm gonna look and see if there's anyone that might be interesting to me. All right, here is Terza, and she is an AI artist and course creator. 
Now, let's say I wanted to reach out to Terza. Of course, I could try to connect with her or send her a message on LinkedIn, but LinkedIn is obviously a wasteland of spam. So why don't I try to reach out to her a different way? I'm gonna grab her URL. I've just copied that to my clipboard. And then back over inside of Muriana, I'm gonna enter that in and just see if we get anything back. So before I do that, I'm gonna hit clear all on the filters here, enter in her URL one more time, and then choose get my leads. And sure enough, there she is. I can get her email address right here. Now I'm gonna reveal it just so I can see if it's accurate, but obviously for the sake of privacy, I'm not gonna show her email on a YouTube video. So I click the button and then I get this little pop-up and I need to confirm, so I'll hit get contact. And there we go, I get not one, but two email addresses and they both look fairly legit. I will say there are definitely hints inside of the email address that these are accurate and they're for the right person. So I gotta say, that's pretty impressive. Notice that they have a different job title and company over here than they did on LinkedIn. Well, actually the same job title is there, but it's not what's featured first and foremost on her profile. So overall, very, very cool. All right, let's try a couple more searches here. The first thing I wanna do is, let's just see if I can find some businesses that are using WordPress and doing e-commerce or a substantial amount of sales per month. I know it's gonna be a very general wide net, but let's see how many turn up. I'll just say companies using WordPress and doing at least 1 million in revenue per year and choose get my leads. All right, so it's populating the leads right now. Looks like if there's gonna be a lot more here than the previous search but let's check out the filters that it applied. So we've got all of these different WordPress options. Again, it restricted it to the United States and that's about it. It didn't do a whole lot in terms of filtering here, but I've got over 300,000 leads. So clearly that is a bit too much. So I wanna whittle this down a little bit. I'm gonna choose e-commerce as an industry and then under buyer's intent, I will choose email marketing. All right, so buyer's intent means that they think that this company might be in the market to hire someone to do this sort of thing. All right, so I've refined this pretty severely. Let's choose get my leads and we'll see what it comes back with. All right, much briefer sorting time there. 512 leads still, so quite a few. But uh, yeah, we've now whittled this down into companies that are just looking for email marketing potentially. So before I showed you that you could reveal contacts on a case by case basis, but if you want a bigger list than that, you can do a bulk selection over here. So if I wanted all 512 of these, I would choose select all. And then when I hit export and I'll choose a CSV file, it's going to tell me that I'm exporting 512 leads. I can check to include all fields in the CSV and I'll get their entire contacts. Okay. Next up, I'm going to try a slightly more advanced search. I said, we manage LearnDash websites for content creators. Show us companies that use this software and are looking for web hosting and web development. Let's choose get my leads. This is extremely specific, by the way. I almost expect there to be no results at all. And sure enough, there is no results at all. It does seem like the AI searching is just basically filling out the filters for us. There's nothing really too magical about it. So for example, if I just wanted to find companies that are using LearnDash, I could do that. And there we go, I've got 31,000 leads. I think that's a lot more efficient actually than just using the AI search. With a tool like this, the real value is if the leads are high quality and there's no real way to decide in a 20 minute review here whether or not this is going to be a high quality source for leads, but I can do a little deductive reasoning. Kind of sorting through here, some of these are completely irrelevant, right? So. This guy right here is a founder for Boosted Limitly. Let's check out his company. It takes me right over to LinkedIn. And it looks like they've maybe changed the name of their company. Now they're Boostly. And let's go ahead and check out, see if we find out if they actually even use WordPress or LearnDash. I'm using whatcms.org here. I'm gonna paste in their URL and choose detect CMS. Now the expected result here would be WordPress. And then I can dig a little deeper and find out if they're using LearnDash as well. And sure enough, they are using WordPress. And after checking a URL that's commonly used for LearnDash courses, I can see they really do have some courses on their website. So this actually looks like it would be a pretty good lead. I could find something that I could help them with and reach out to them and see if they're interested in my offer. Now, obviously that's an example of one contact out of let's say 32,000 approximately on just this one search result alone. So would it work in your industry? You'd probably have to try it out and just kind of get a good feel for whether or not they are high quality. I could obviously do more sorting here, right? Maybe I wanna knock out all of the companies that are gonna speak different languages than me. It might be just 
too much of a barrier. And, and, you know, maybe I want to choose companies that are a little bit smaller so I could choose one to 10 or 11 to 50 for the headcount and then go ahead and filter the leads again. And now we're down to about 7,400, a lot more manageable to begin to reach out to. So on the surface, I think Miriana looks pretty impressive. You'll still need to do some more work. This is just one piece of the puzzle. I personally would probably take these email addresses and then run them through an email verification tool like Clearout or SMTPing, which is a review I did a few weeks ago. Then you might want to warm up a new email account using a tool like Inboxy, which I reviewed just last week. And then from there, you could get all of these into maybe some sort of cold outreach tool or even just a regular old CRM like HubSpot and start finding ways that you can reach out to people in a unique and helpful way so you don't end up in the spam box. So in my opinion, this sure beats just scraping the web for random email addresses and then blasting as many contacts as you can find, hoping that someone responds to you and you can actually sell them a service. Or maybe you're not even trying to sell anything. I've been focusing on that throughout the video, but you could also use this to recruit and find talented people who are wanting to come work for you. That's definitely a plausible use case as well. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with Miriana, especially considering the price. I have to confess that I have paid thousands of dollars for email lists a long time ago, but when I was just getting started in this and I didn't have any leads at all, that's what I did. And I tried cold outreach and it was a terrible failure. And I just felt so bad about myself because I had invested so much money to get this email list and it turns out all of the, the emails on it were kind of crap. And that was actually from an AppSumo deal, by the way, an upsell. If you wanna know more about that, you'll have to reach out to me privately. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give Miriana a 7.1. I think there's a lot of possibility here $59, if you can close one client out of their 140 million leads, it will pay for itself probably 30, 40 X just from that one deal. So yeah, what do you got to lose? It's kind of like uh, I used to say about find my lead back in the day. Everyone said it was terrible, but if you just got one email address and it was a good email address, definitely worth the investment. So that's gonna do it for this review. Make sure you check out clientamp.com. That's where you can find all of my premium courses, get signed up for my email newsletter, and even work with my team one-on-one -on -one to grow your online business. There's also a link for Miriana down below in the description. If this video has been helpful to you and you wanna grab a copy of Miriana, please use that link. It helps support our content so we can make more reviews like this one. That's all for today. I am Dave Swift. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment for the algorithm, and I will see you in the next one.